Hello. What's happening, friends? It's been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's up, Lego loser? It's me. It's Cece again. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here before. <laughs> uh, what's up, Brett? Thank you guys for hanging out with me on a Thursday afternoon. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just I've uploaded a couple of videos. I just haven't been live streaming. I was just taking a little bit more time to like hang out with Mr. Cafe a little bit more. But it's good to see you guys. The carnage set is cool, but too many stickers. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do the stickers today or at least here on stream, but it'll be good. Prefer the Venom one? Yeah, I haven't seen the Venom one in person. Uh, When did it come out? What's up, Bricks and Mortar? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Sean and the Brick Lord one, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. So a bit of a weird setup <laughs> today because, um, I don't know, I guess my stream legs are a little rusty. <laughs> um, but so I just have like the one camera and it's pointing down on the table. As you can see, the, you're here, you see. Um, instead of me streaming through OBS and having the two cameras set up, I don't know. You can now see the mess that is the floor of my Lego corner, but you know, tis what it is. All right. So let's kind of get this going. Abs Bricks. Hello. First time here. What? Good to have you. Welcome, welcome to the stream. You're coming in on a on a very, very chill stream, I'd say. We don't have any any music, but maybe we can uh we can fix that. Let's try. Let's see. Whoa. All right. You guys should be able. I mean, it's coming from the TV. You let me know. <laughs> Very low production kind of day. It's the end of the week. What can we do? Oh, thank you, Lego Loser. Saying my hair looking beautiful. I appreciate you. It's really nappy right now. I need to do something with it. What's up, boy? Sai O'Connor, good to see you. Oh, great to see you on the air again. Thank you. All right, so we got three, three, and one. Okay, so I'm going to mute real quick to open the bags, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sai, how was your stream? How did that go? And Rick Lord one what are your guys' thoughts about the Bad Batch shuttle? Um, so, I'm not really allowed to uh, talk about that anymore. I didn't want to say anything officially, but I'm sure you could probably guess. Why, why I removed the leaks from my Discord and um, also can't really talk about leaks. Hey, Nana. Good to see you. All right. So we're going to try to get at least bag one built in an hour. Lord knows. There has never been a day I have finished a set that has been a full set and not a poly bag. In under an hour. 
but we're gonna try to at least bag one today. That's the goal, my friends. That's that's the goal. Okay. And who else do we have here? Someone popped in. Darla. Hello, Darla. I didn't say hi to you. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if I can say anything officially yet, Lego loser. Oh, Flynn joined you today. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I, I missed it. I I try to lurk here and there when I can. But today I was um, having lunch, a late, late lunch. I don't know. You guys ever take a lunch or pack a lunch for school or for work? And then it's there and you're like, nah, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. That was me today. I had a lunch. It was actually... It was a very good dinner, but you know what? It just, I don't know. It, I wasn't feeling it for leftovers. Wasn't feeling it. As such, I waited till after work and I went to Chick-fil-A. So that was my late lunch. Where have I been? I've been here. <laughs> I've been around, just not in front of the camera. I was on the ladies' live stream uh, with Claire, Art and Just, uh, Bopo, um, there's a, a bunch of a uh, few good good ladies over there. You'll follow you on this site later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just been lurking. Um so really the the reason why I kind of took a hiatus, I guess, is just I one I had started to feel sick um about I guess about a month ago. Um just incredibly low energy wasn't really feeling like doing much of anything, um, even eating. And if Nana CC can tell you anything, is that I usually don't have any problem eating. <laughs> that has never been a uh, a, a trait that I, I did not possess. <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> just build it. But yeah, for some reason, I just... I don't know. Um, anyway, like, yeah, just that low energy, um, I guess low morale. And um, just was kind of down for a while. So I didn't stream. But I, I missed it, you know. So that's why I put out, like, some videos. I had some, like, pre-recorded stuff. And um, put that out. And I saw everyone's comments, so thank you so much for the positive comments and notes on um, especially that last video. I was really nervous about putting that out there and seeing what people thought about um, my opinion on Flesh Tone minifigs and a potential like Flesh Tone minifig pack. But yeah. So now I'm starting to kind of feel feel better, feel up to being on camera and streaming but definitely missed you guys I, I needed to be back in the cafe so what's up Juliet yeah see Nana said food is my friend what's up chef ah uh, thank you so much Brett yes uh, yeah turn on the stream bot I don't know I, yeah, I don't have the stream bot on. We might give it a break today. I'd have to go and turn it on. Yeah, thanks, bricks and mortar. Uh, just, I don't know what was up with me. Um, so I did end up going to the doctor, and 
uh, turns out like I would just have been severely dehydrated. Um, so I've been trying to drink more water here. Yeah, I've been trying to drink more water, which has helped. So I think that that's probably what was it. All right. Um, oh, Chef just ordered the carnage set. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Um, I haven't really heard too many people talk about it. And I don't know why. I don't know. I, I think it's badass. I'm going to use one of my curse words. Uh, I guess I only got one more. They need to do something like the student pack, but for different races. Yeah. I agree. Something like that. Um, or, I mean, there, there's so many different things that, that they could do when it comes to that. So, but I think it like is moving in the right direction with awareness, you know. Uh, and I still put on the wrong piece. When shall I learn? Or oh, I just have I put it on the wrong plate. That's what it was. Uh, Carnage, yes, agreed. It's the red for me. It is. It just looks really cool. And then I can't wait for Venom because I'm going to get that one too, definitely. Um, put that together. So It's nice that they're coming out with a companion bust or, you know, helmet for something in the Marvel line. Because um, poor Iron Man is all by his lonesome. But you have all of the, you know, Star Wars ones are all together and they look sharp <laughs> but yeah so i'm looking forward to that i guess dc's gonna be kind of in the same realm of what happened with iron man with it being the only dc one Whoa. i i want to get all the non-star wars helmets but that Batman, it's it's making it real difficult for me to really be excited about that one. Yeah. Not, I am a fan of Batman. Although I do think he's a vigilante and not a superhero. But we can have a conversation about that. <laughs> Uh, everyone is ordering carnage while well, you ordered a bloody ice cream truck, which is now your best friend. Uh, what the pixie food truck? Is that what you ordered? Like a lizard? Cause I've been trying to get that one. And honestly, I haven't been able to find it. I may need to talk, talk to tech. Cause I want to say he has a bunch Okay. Let's see what we got. The Lego ice cream truck with the mask. Oh, yeah. That one. Okay. Uh, What did you set up? Lego loser. You've never been a fan of Star Wars and never will be. <laughs> I like certain aspects about Star Wars. Like, uh, I'm a very casual fan. Um, I like to be up on, on the lingo, at least, you know, and be able to, like, nod along and, and understand what people are excited about, but, I, I don't know, a lot of stuff, a lot of the stuff that the Star Wars fans get excited about, I'm just like, who? What? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a cool ship. It's gray. It's all black. It's all white. Like, <laughs> uh, 
sometimes, the, yeah, the ships are, are pretty cool. They can be. And that's what gets me excited. Other than that. Nah. Alright, let's see. That one's too short. I could just count the studs, but <laughs> we're being lazy. What's up, Chris? Good to see you. Uh, yes, I'm in the, the U.S. Sorry, that was probably loud. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm in the U.S. Uh, Pixie Fruit is in stock. <gasps> is it? Oh, gosh. All right. You know what, guys? I got two screens now. I upgraded while I was away for the purpose of streaming, even though I wasn't streaming. <laughs> and you know what was also that I was wanting, uh, what was also on shop at home that I was wanting to get was the tree house. It may be sold out again, but hopefully everyone's too like preoccupied with all the Harry Potter stuff and the, the Luigi stuff. So let's see. Pixie food truck. Am I going shopping with you guys on stream? Yes. Oh, I guess I can share my screen. Share screen. Not to enable. It's already done. You've already enabled. I hope you feel good. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. All right. So... It is now in the cart. Let's see if the, the tree house is there too. It was there last weekend. Yes. Oh, the clubhouse is back. I got the bonsai tree. Okay, I shouldn't be shopping. Stop shopping. Gosh. <laughs> All right. So that's what I'll do. I'll um I'll definitely check out <laughs> when this is done <laughs> we'll go shopping at a different time uh let's see ccd like harry potter that's one of your favorite themes a lot of women youtubers like it yeah um i do like harry potter i remember one time in elementary school after seeing the the first harry potter movie there was like this insert for the DVD and it was like, you could get the uh, the time turner, uh, like locket or some wands. It was like stuff you could order from Warner Brothers. What's up, Justin? You changed your name. Um, and so yeah, you could like order stuff and I don't know why, but I would just like sit there and flip through this like little two page booklet in class. Um, and I was like, oh yeah. I want to get this wand. This is Harry's wand. This is Voldemort's wand. And um, I think I got in trouble because I was like looking at it too much. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a Harry Potter fan. I know, right? Like a loser. I miss saying Sluter too. But we shall respect the name change. Zamora, what? All my friends are coming out of the woodworks. Welcome back to the cafe, guys. And on board's toy stream yesterday, uh, you mentioned, oh yeah, the Spring Lantern Festival had an Easter egg. Oh, monkey kid torso. And tech went shopping. Oh yeah, don't mention anything monkey kid around tech. No posters, no limited to 50 wristband stuff, uh, limited edition only in China, post-it notes, monkey kids, like tech will probably go search for it. Yeah, that, I don't think I've ever met another monkey kid fan at Biggest Tech. Lego Roses need to come back. Did I get the roses? No, I don't think I ever got the roses um, either. They what, At the Lego store last week, they did bring out a few things because it was like double VIP. 
and they had one of the Chinese New Year sets. The one with the, the dragon. I think it's that the story of Neon. Non? That's a bread. You guys have to let me know how to say it in the chat if you know it. The next mosaics to buy and build eventually Mickey Mouse bleh, um, and Darth Vader. Darth Vader one is cool. Alyssa, hello. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Lego Loser says, what I set up. Oh, Lego Dimensions? What? You've had it for ages and didn't really realize how many figures you had? Like, you're just now playing? Like, you've never played before? Because Lego Dimensions is lit. Even though I secretly played, like, in my dorm room, because I didn't want anyone to know. But Dimensions is great. I don't know where Mr. Cafe is, but I want to say that even after I had moved on campus and had stopped really playing Dimensions, like I broke it out and I like was playing it and then I showed him, but I wouldn't show anyone else. Like when I lived off campus in college, um, I didn't tell my roommates that I was like playing this new game. Scam likely. Probably asking me about my extended warranty. <laughs> People are so annoying. Uh, oh, you played it before? Okay, good, good, good. The only thing I didn't like is like you would get settled playing Dimensions and then you have to move your characters to a different part of the, uh, of the stand. And I'm like, Oh, I gotta get uncomfortable and like move my things, and then like okay, get back, and then like oh, I gotta move them again. So that that part was a little annoying, but it made it immersive. Oh, looks like the Streamlabs bot is working. Uh, Justin said, "I found some Dimension sets at Big Lots a couple months back. Started set in two story packs. Ooh, good stuff. The portal." And the starter pack is awesome. Yes. Um, definitely. My extended warranty <laughs> expired today, too. <laughs> the... Yeah. The... I just, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure, like, my sister probably has been getting calls about them. She doesn't have a car yet. And I've been watching um, like scammer bait videos on YouTube. Like I kind of went down a rabbit hole with that of like people who sit there and like entertain the scams and just like record it and figure out what they're doing. And it's so funny, just the logic that goes through with some of those. Quite crazy. Your TV stand is quite far away from your... Yeah. That makes sense. Um, the desk that I had in college like was one of those like rocking chairs, which is kind of weird. Um, it was a rocking chair, but I always sat like pretty close. This is the collar spam you haven't paid for. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Extended warranty on my Lego. Um, I think Lego is, like, the Lego group maybe missing a uh, a market there. Because, you know, like, GameStop, they're like, oh, if anything happens to your game, you know, you'd be sad. So, do you want to get a warranty? It's $3. I used to work at GameStop. Now, I was like, yeah, you know, because if one of your kids scratches the game, then we're not going to be able to help you. So, you should go ahead and pay that $3. And GameStop actually makes a fortune off of those warranty offerings and most people never even need it so lego should offer warranty would i get it no would i respect that they're trying to secure the bag yes 
Yes, I would. Uh, let's see. Lego Loser says, I have an idea. Get the Venom helmet as well. Then make half of it Venom, the other half Carnage. Ooh, that sounds sick. That sounds really cool. Heck yeah. Uh, looks like we got a quest going. Augustine Fall, guys. Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, let's see. Is it not working? It looks like we got a quest going. So, you guys can join the quest. It may be bogged down. Uh, maybe that's why you can't check your beans. But only there's like global cooldown for the beans. Get an Iron Man helmet and a Venom helmet and merge those. That does sound cool too. I might try to do that in um in studio. Which can I say that I built an entire computer so that I could build in studio without my computer crashing? And ask me how many times I've built in studio. <laughs> The answer would be none. <laughs> I just have so many ideas and so many projects and with the sickness. I'll get back to doing stuff. Double beans. Lorraine, how are you this evening? It's good to see you. All right, so we built the base in 30 minutes. I don't know how far we're going <laughs> I'm the world's slowest builder. So I saw uh, Holly just put out a video about how she almost uh, was on LEGO Masters but didn't do it. And I, too, had been interviewed, um, Mr. Cafe and I, we're going to go as a team. And then they were kind of like weird about it. Um, I guess it wasn't the angle that they wanted to go for. And then looking at the couples that they have on there. I'm not sure if Fox was ready maybe for, for us demographically, if you catch my drift. But... So then they asked me, like, oh, is there another girl you'd like to be on the team with? And I was like, I don't know anybody else. Why do you think I stream all the time? I don't have any friends in real life. <laughs> Not here in the in the area. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. And then also... I'm a really slow builder. So even though like I may have a, a good eye for design or like ideas and stuff, I'm definitely like an ideas person. I think uh, I would never have finished. Now watch me like two years down the road and be like, oh my gosh, I'm on Lego Masters. <laughs> Uh, who knows? Things change. Maybe I could get better at building and be faster. Um, okay. It looks like I need a black 1x2 that has not emerged yet. But that's okay. Not sure what went wrong the first time? Yeah, I don't know. The cheapest dimension pack you can find on Amazon is the green Powerpuff Girl. You mean... Bubbles is blue. Blossom is the red one. Buttercup, right? Buttercup is the green one.
Hyped for the Harry Potter sets? Yes. I wore a Harry Potter shirt <laughs> uh, to uh, the Lego store. And I kid you not, literally every employee in the store at one point came up to me with the book wanting to show me the new Harry Potter sets. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I, I already saw them. And then like 15 minutes later, oh, hey, would you like to see the new Harry Potter sets? I noticed it. Oh, yes, thank you. I already saw them. No, I don't want to pre-order anything right now. <laughs> but yes, I'm excited for the Harry Potter stuff. Really, what are you guys really looking forward to? Like, is there a particular set from the the wave that you're wanting? Or are you just kind of wanting everything or just the figs? Did I see the phoenix? Yes. Fox? I did. Uh, did I see the Phoenix version or a Hedwig they're going to release? Yes, I saw the Phoenix. Oh, the Phoenix version of Hedwig. I see what you're trying to say, Brett. Yeah, I did. I think that one looks really cool. Am I really missing a black one by two? No. All right. Well, I might have some extra somewhere. Kind of slows down the build, doesn't it? Maybe it's inside of some bricks. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I might. Did I leave it? No, not left behind. Not Kirk Cameron. All right. I'm not sure how many of you guys would get that reference. <laughs> uh. Oh, Justin wants it all. Getting them all except for the buildable figs. I don't mind the buildable figs. I, I saw people hating on them, but... I thought they were cool. Doc! Hello, good to see you. Okay, Justin got the reference. Uh, okay. So, for those of you like Doc who are just coming in, I have somehow not received a 1x2 plate for the set. And so I am now trying to find a replacement. Oh, that's a tile. All right, let's go on my extra parts spin. Maybe we'll get lucky and find it, find uh, exactly what we need right away. I feel like I don't get black one by two extras often. Uh, they did give me some one by ones. I'm not sure if I'll need them. I will need them. No, I won't need them. I'm going back and forth. Okay. It looks as though I won't need them. Oh, no, I will. I lied. Okay. So I will need them. 
but this no, that's a slope piece. All right. Well, maybe I can find two black one by ones. Kind of solve the problem there. Well, here's a dark gray or talk dark my gosh, dark tan. Jeez. Has it been a while since you streamed, or is that just me and messed up your scat? No, Doc. It's been a while. It's been, uh, what, about two months, babe, right? Since I streamed less? Yeah, you've been taking it easy for about a month and a half. Yeah, about a month and a half. Buying it's... Lego and not sharing it with other... Yeah. He, he said buying Lego and not sharing it with you guys. Buying if... me Lego. Oh, yeah, buying him Lego. He got this. Awesome, uh, oh, they can't really see. Oh, come on. Yeah. So he, he got this, uh, what's it called? The excavator? Yeah. Super cool, babe. Thank you. But yeah, Doc. Not you. It's me. <laughs> Uh, it was your tiny brother's birthday not long ago, and he got his Gurguru and the Flash. Oh, he's obsessed with them. I would be, too. People are saying hi to you, babe. Oh, hey, guys. Long time no see. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Who's in the chat? Uh, let's see. We got Doc, Brett, Sai, Chef. Oh, my God. It's a full house party. Yeah, quite a few people. Lorraine, Justin. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. How's this build going along? Good. So I was looking for a missing piece for quite a while here. So um, now that I got this. You got some Technic stuff in there? Hmm? You got some Technic pieces in there? Yeah. Does that have a function? No. Not really. I thought it would tilt. It looks like it does. Uh, well, it did until I put this little uh, piece on. Oh, this isn't so. Oh my gosh, I was looking for a piece I didn't need. This whole time? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're rusty. At least we're not crusty. Am I right, guys? <laughs> rusty never crusty. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Me. The marketing genius. Uh, Doc, how you been? I've uh, I've seen some of your work recently with the live streams. Some of the craziness that's ensued. <laughs> yeah, seems like uh, there's been quite a lot going on in the, the LEGO community. I was around, sort of. Really just for the aftermath. Will the games be coming back? Asking for yourself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Brett. They will. Kahoot was fun? Good. I'm glad. So I won't cancel my <laughs> subscription that I haven't used. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll bring it back. I, I've had some ideas for some games. Um... They just kind of take some prep. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you like my Naruto hat. It's uh, Naruto and Hello Kitty. I thought it was super cute. So I had to get it. Especially because I have like a shirt. That's pretty much uh, team, se team 7 from Naruto. But uh, 
They're all dressed up as Hello Kitty characters. Alright, so it looks like I need three of these rockers now. And one pin. You guys let me know if the music is too loud. Okay. And that way I can lower it. I don't even know why I have my headphones on at this point. Don't need it. The music's not coming out through my, through my headphones. Alrighty. Gotta be honest, uh, you've missed us all playing the draw game. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like Mr. Cafe missed it too. Well, we'll be coming back. I got to figure out a new schedule. Bye, Camo Buddy. Have a good one. Oh, okay. Bye. You've been watching The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Bat oh, okay. All the DC, all the crossovers are great. Yeah, crossovers are really awesome. All right, Lego Loser. It's been fun. Take care. All right, so we got this going on. I guess this is like the tongue. Oh, I was supposed to leave a gap. Hold on. Wham. Wham. So, did anyone take advantage of the double VIP weekend? And if you did, what'd you get? I didn't get too much. I really wasn't trying to go balls to the wall. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll rebrand. <laughs> no. I, I want to... I, I think it's just a common term. Right? If that offended you, please uh, send me a message on Instagram. You stopped watching a while ago, but enjoyed it when you did. Yeah, so is Teen Titans? Or is it just called Titans? Because I did get that on DVD. I haven't watched it yet. Because um, every time I would go to Target, I would see the DVD, but it was only season two. And I was like, well, I can't start in season two. And I finally found season one. But I, I haven't been able to, to watch it. But I think that that'll be fun. Right now, Mr. Cafe and I are really hooked on 911, which is a firefighter show, and 911 Lone Star. So both iterations of the show, we are hooked on. And we pretty much watch. Are you telling them about our show? Yeah, we watch like two episodes, sometimes three episodes a day. Um, if it's if it's a weekend, I think there's probably a weekend we sat there and watched it all day. No, it wasn't. Are you sure? Yeah. He said he's saying that no, we didn't. I'm pretty sure. Just between us, you know, pretty sure we did that. It's a good show. It's a good show. Uh, for me, third weekends of each month are always tight when it comes to money. Couldn't squeeze anything for double VIP. Yeah, it came out a weird weekend. I agree. I do agree. And so I wanted to get the treehouse on double VIP. I think I might have just forgot to. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to get it online. And I didn't. But I'm going to get it. Like right now. <laughs> right after we're done with this. Okay. Let's see. All right. I do like Grey's Anatomy. 
I don't think I'm caught up yet. I think I might be behind. I might be behind like an episode or two. Because I also started watching. I have like way too many shows. I started watching Invincible on Amazon Prime. Which is a really good show. Um, if you guys are okay with adult, adult themes and superheroes. It's good. Um, but it's not like Watchmen adult theme. Because Invincible is about a high school kid who like discovers he has powers and um, his dad has powers and stuff like that. And so just kind of navigating that. But it's at here on Earth. And so it's it's more of a more realistic view of if there's a society wherein superheroes actually exist and kind of like the carnage that ensues and how do you deal with that? Like if you're trying to have a normal life, uh, it, it's been pretty good. It's based off of a comic. Oh, Teen Titans is HBO. Okay. That makes sense. You haven't watched beyond episode one. Why Justin? Be interested. Oh, playing with fire. It's quite funny. It has John Cena. I love me some John Cena. Um, and we wanted to watch that. But we never got around to it. Right, babe? The, that movie with John Cena and, and the kids from the fire? Oh, yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, it, it looked like it was going to be good. Well, I'll have to get around to watching yeah, it. That, the that one watch with the cat? <laughs> oh, I don't like know. A, like a pet movie, but it's more like adult rated? Yeah, is it a show or a movie? It's a show. Mm, okay, I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Oh, Callie, Mrs. Bricks and Mortar, and I are catching up on Grays. It's a task. Yes. How far back are you? Um, I actually started watching Grays my first year in school, and that was like, you know, the, Really, and because I was trying to like change majors, I really only had like one hard class, and then the rest were like electives, just so I could get financial aid and fill up and be a full time student. Um, so I had a lot of time to goof around, <laughs> and I think I got up to season twelve, like from the beginning. Um, also during that time, I watched all of Charmed, and then I go back and watch Gilmore Girls too. No, I don't think I did. But I have seen all of the Gilmore Girls. So. But yeah. I want to know what, what season are you guys on? For Grays. People give me so much crap when it comes to Grays. But it's just so good. Gilmore Girls. Oh my gosh. I really strive to have the mother-daughter relationship, like obviously just the good parts that Lorelai and Rory has. Absolutely. And if they don't come back soon with like a final, final season after they left us on that cliffhanger for, was it, I think it was just called Four Seasons. I'm going to be really upset. That's how you know it's just a drama show. You only talk about a drama. I don't know anything about doctors so far. Because the babe, the qualifications that you get from watching Grey's as long as I have, you know, I feel like 14 seasons, what are we on, season 17 right now of Grey's, like the amount of medical training that I have experienced, I feel like if someone is in a cardiac tamponade, I will know exactly how to handle that <laughs> as the non-professional medical person that I am. So Invincible is a cross between Sky High and The Boys. Yeah, pretty much. It's really good. Um, Mr. Cafe came in on like episode five or something like that. He's already hooked. Um, it's no longer just my show. It is now our show again. Uh, because I have like my shows that I can watch during the day because um, I work from home sometimes. And then I have our shows that I have to wait, you know. 
Um, and so now that it has moved to our shows, but I, I enjoy when things become our shows. Um, but I will tell you, there's sometimes I'm like watching something on Netflix during the day and I'm like, Ooh, Mr. Cafe would like this. And I'm like, I'm not waiting. I'll tell him about it later. <laughs> I need something for myself. <laughs> Cause otherwise the only thing left for me to be able to watch at home during a day would be like murder mysteries. Because he doesn't like those. Uh, WandaVision was great. The last episode of Falcon One Soldier is coming. Ooh, okay. We have only seen episode one of Falcon and Winter Soldier. We did see all of WandaVision. That was fantastic. We couldn't get enough of that. Uh, it was just the first episode of Falcon was so slow. I think it kind of put us off. And, oh, okay. Justin doesn't watch Titans because he spends too much time watching YouTube. I tell you, sometimes I think we really should be paying for YouTube just from the amount of entertainment that I get. Like, I could probably, like, cut out most of my streaming services and just be content with the C that is YouTube videos. Uh, in 10 minutes, you go in the bed. Oh, okay. You have to wake up for school. Makes sense. I have tomorrow off. High School Musical. Where did that come from? But I do enjoy High School Musical. Not better. You know what? Lemonade Mouth. All Bite. Not as much of a classic as High School Musical. I would say Lemonade Mouth has more music, has better music. Uh, okay, season 14, now you're in the current season, oh, okay, which is all about COVID, okay, yeah, it's kind of a downer, and I would say, like, all the other medical shows and um, things that we've seen, they've kind of, like, addressed COVID, even Superstore, um, kind of, like, addressed it, and they're like, okay, this is what we think the world will be like, you know, Moving forward without mask and things. Hey, Sloth, how's it going? But Grays is really milking the um, COVID posture, you know, COVID environment thing. So I I hope Meredith makes it out. I really don't know where Grays would go without Meredith. If I'm really being honest. Because I really enjoy the connection that she has with her sisters. And so if it is no longer a, a triplet situation, I'm I'm not really for it. Okay, so let's see this. But as a Scream fan from the, the old classic movie, I will say that uh, more of Derek's sisters need to come back. Because uh, I think Neve Campbell played one of his sisters. Um, okay, for example, yesterday you spent a lot of time watching videos on changing alternators. You sound like Mr. Cafe, Sluder. Um and a 2000s oh because your mom's car needed a new alternator now she doesn't did you change it or did it just get better um and i say you sound like mr cafe like it in a nice way like in a good way he was um looking at buying um a truck and i would come around the corner you know from like the kitchen or something and he's like just listening to motors or like watching videos about motors. He's a gearhead. What can I say? Uh, it's your friend's birthday in a few days. She has a huge crush on Will Smith and loves anything Will Smith related. So you're getting her a Will Smith Funko Pop. Ooh, that's a nice gift. What's up? I'm bored toys. Toys? Yeah. Sorry. That was a weird accent. I don't know. Um, 
But welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's sad to think that there's uh, is never going to be another Avengers film without all the Avengers. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready for younger Avengers. I'm ready for it. We we have young Justice. We need young Avengers. Get them over here. I'm also like selfishly holding um, like comics that would greatly appreciate their value <laughs> when young uh, young Avengers come out or are fully revealed. Like a few months ago, I got the first appearance of Shang-Chi. And so now that his uh, trailer came out, the book is going for like three times as much. Um, and then Miss Marvel with that um, like Disney Plus show coming out, that book from last year is up. I kid you not, like I got that book for like $30 like last March. And then now I see it selling for at least $200 on a bad day. Um, so yeah, crazy. You're that one clingy baby to the old Avengers. Yeah, I mean, I like the Avengers. I think if they changed Guardians of the Galaxy, that'd be, I'd be upset. Wait. We don't know what's gonna happen with Gamora, right? Because like her future, Self, the one who didn't die. Wait, no, her past self came to the pu the future, and then or the present, and then she's just like off doing something. So she's not technically with the Guardians of the Galaxy anymore. That hurts my heart. Now that I remembered that, I didn't like that. I need Gamora to come back. I need more Zoe Saldana in my life. But I think we could all use more Zoe Saldana in our lives. Right? Ultimate wibbly wobbly time lord stuff. Yeah. Are you a Doctor Who fan, Justin? Apparently Thor is going to be a guardian. Yeah. As Guardians, I think, was... Um... A run like a, a comic run so that's that's probably what's going on is this gonna clip in it's not hmm how did this clip in oh okay Ah, oh, okay. I see. User error. As as always, you're not a Whovian. Okay. But you enjoy it when you do watch. Okay, okay, okay. Joe, good to see you. Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, Thor, don't be a guardian, Thor. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they do with uh, Love and Thunder. With Jane Foster and Valkyrie. So I, I like that they're kind of moving people around. With Wanda being in Doctor Strange. It's going to be good. Baby Groot. He won't stay his baby forever. I know. They never stay babies long, right? I'm not a parent, but I would say that's probably something that parents don't enjoy. Ah, I see. I did things wrong. Once again, user error. 
Would you like some pizza, buddy? No, thank you. Can I have some water, though? The castle mock is coming along? Nice. I'm going to have to look up some photos on your Instagram. Will Darcy be in Thor? Hmm, that's a good question. I liked her in WandaVision. She was great comic relief. All right. Don't forget that Christian Bale is playing Gore the God Butcher. Is he? I thought he was playing Beta Ray. I'm out of the loop. I seriously thought he was playing Beta Ray. Still on the rumor train. I gotta get on the, the fax boat. You guys easy to pull a pixie food trip on shop at home and put it in a crowd. <laughs> You are a fantastic ambassador. Yes. I need to step up my, my influencer game. It's been too long, Joe. Oh, appreciate that. All right, Lego Loser. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let's, oh, you don't expect Darcy? Really? You're hoping for Jimmy? Ooh, a Jimmy and a Darcy show? You know what? I enjoyed the dynamic of Jimmy, Darcy, and Monica. So maybe they'll be in a Monica show and they'll send them to this space. And I hope Monica's show is a real thing and they didn't just like, oh, here's some fan service. Because they didn't really go too much into like her powers or. Anything is just like, oh, Monica has powers. Here you go. See? She's got powers. All right. Done. So, I want them to, to show her using them more. The warrior mech? I do. I have the warrior mech. Um, before, that was really the only... I gotta look at it. Yeah. That, that was the only monkey kid set that I had, but I've been wanting to get the fix the pixie food truck. And um, they now have the fruit mountain at the Lego store. Whereas it was super hard to find a while back. Did I do this wrong again? I sure did. Oh, no, I didn't. Abort. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was supposed to go the other way. So I did it right. I did it right. Uh -uh. This way. Okay. Boom. Jamie, are you a new ambassador, or or were you in the the previous round from the summer? Oh my gosh, Naruto and Hello Kitty Cat hat. Yes, it just makes me feel cute. I don't know, it just kind of like brightens up the day, you know. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, last year you, he was Gore, Christian Bale. You haven't heard any news about, uh, yeah, was it Love and Thunder for at least a month. And that is our time to strike, people. I've been looking for more Jane Foster as Thor comics, trying to like get on the up and up. 
<laughs> Comic investing. One on one. Welcome to my course. <laughs> check out the screen. Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's your truck. It's haunting you. <laughs> uh, oh, you consider yourself the uh, Tips and Bricks Monkey Kid Ambassador. <laughs> I love it. You need a button. and uh, To make it official. You're all the way down the Monkey Kid rabbit hole and it's a lovely place to be. Yes. You know, I need the the spider mech set only for the Lego Lo-Fi Girl sticker. I listen to so much Lo-Fi, like at work. I listen to Lo-Fi here on stream. I listen to Lo-Fi. Just if I'm playing Hearthstone by myself, I'm listening to Lo-Fi to like keep me calm. <laughs> so I need that sticker in my life. Did I do that wrong? <laughs> Shakes magic eight ball. Signs point to yes. <laughs> yeah, I have the mech. It's like way up on my top shelf. Um, I need to bring it down and clean it. It's been up there since last <laughs> last summer. <laughs> Spider mech is good, and the sticker is amazing. Okay, I need it in my life. I need it. I need it. Uh, uh, got a quest going. All right, so Justin has started a quest. If you guys are new to the stream and you've never been on a quest, all you have to do is type exclamation mark quest and then all, space all. You can do that or a number. It has to be under 500 though. And then you will go on an adventure that I wrote. It's a castle theme adventure. Um, but time is running out, so make sure you do that, and you can join Justin on his quest. Oh, Brett started the quest, and Justin joined. My apologies to Commander Knight, Brett. Justin has joined the party. So, join them. See, try your hand in the, the dark forest. You may have a good time. Or you may not. <laughs> An order of knights and warriors check their horses and sharpen their blades as they ride off for the Shadowlands. Oh no, the forest troll sends half the order to the witch's dungeon. The rest escape with a handful of treasure and a tail for the tavern. Well, if you didn't join the quest, maybe it's a good thing you didn't. <laughs> they got their butts handed to them by the troll. I'm glad you guys enjoy that. And you still find it fun. It's a risky little gamble. Going into the forest. But only the bravest of souls. Venture in. Um, also hate receiving credit. That is due to others. I feel that, Justin. My bad. I'm trying my best. Oh, Justin in the dungeon again. Womp womp. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Who was it? It was poor Sarah who was like, in the dungeon like every time. Captured by the trolls and the witch. Have you fought the dragon yet? Cool. Trans red.
You will hold your place. Oh, Brett is number one. Sarah is still the bean queen. But Brett is king. Brett is trying to stay there. And let's also, we have Brett, then Sarah, then Ian, Billy. I think Billy got a bunch of points. One, because Billy is just always, he's not here today, but he's usually here. And for the, I think he was there for the entire 14 hour stream. And then um, he watches on Twitch as well. So he might be accumulating some points from Twitch. And if you guys didn't know, I stream on Twitch. So you should follow me over there. At your girl Cece. If you want to hang out, play some games. I'm missing a piece. Yeah, look at those bean numbers. I know, people need to start using their beans. It's not as easy to use your channel points on YouTube as it is on Twitch. But there is a, a shop. So you guys can get the, the gifts and the alerts and things like that. Yeah, is the menu working? I'm not sure if you can get the gifts because I'm not using Streamlabs or OBS. But you can get water. Yes, we have a menu. The cafe menu. Exclamation mark menu. If you would like to... Oh, I can do it. And that should come up with a menu of things. We have beverages. We have pastries. Water, latte, matcha, protein shake for you buff guys and gals. Coffee, iced coffee, oat milk latte, hot cocoa, peach iced tea. Love it. Cheesecake. Gosh. I want some cheesecake. Choco brownie and macaroons. Okay. Looks like Justin went with a choco brownie and Brady's Witch Bricks with an oat milk latte. Let's see. Uh, Joe was salty, so she got a water. Gotta combat that saltiness. Justin ordered a rich and decadent Chocolate brownie, a lovely snack for any chocolate lover looking to indulge. Oh my gosh. Joe wants to get buff, so she got a protein shake. You've ordered a protein shake. Look at <laughs> Brixish being healthy. Get swole, fam. <laughs> I think you're the first one to order a protein shake. Uh, Brighty Switch Bricks ordered an oat milk latte. No oats were harmed in the making of this easy on the tummy pick me up. Gosh, what was I on when I wrote these? They makes me they make me smile, so <laughs> it must have been tiredness. Joshua, hello. Welcome to the stream. Now you're hungry. I would say same, but I just had a salad. I might have a cookie. And by cookie, I mean it's literally like the size of a two by two. <laughs> so it's not the biggest cookie. Uh, let's see. Oh, Brett ordered the cheesecake. Combining some of the world's best things. Cheese and sugar. Into a fantastic pie. A cheesecake is never a wrong choice. Man, whoever wrote this just... A lyrical genius. I can definitely get on board with. <laughs> K 
Joshua, how are you? And would you like for me to call you Joshua or, or Josh? Just let me know. I was supposed to build two of these. Whoops. All right. Not too much to build the second one. All righty. You're great. Okay, you prefer Josh. Gotcha. No problemo. Okay, we got another quest going. Brett, I think you've, like, perfectly timed when you can start a quest. It's quite impressive. Out playing Pokemon Go? <laughs> Doc. I didn't know people still played that. I don't know. I guess I'm just not in the Pokemon realm. But go catch them all, fam. I respect that. Be careful out there. Hopefully you're walking and not driving. I remember when they added the speed alert. It's like, it seems like you're moving too fast. And then like shuts down the game and it's like, no, 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 I'm walking. <laughs> You're in your car. Babe, did you ever play Pokemon Go? No, babe. Or like what, Game Boy? No, on the phone. No, no, no. I'm trying to see if Mr. Cafe ever played Pokemon Go. Uh, seems like he didn't play. It was good. I remember there was a time we, I would drive around town trying to look for those. Like, Pokemon? Pokemons? Is the plural form of Pokemon Pokemon? Pokemon. Is it Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> because it's short for Poke Monsters. Uh, so, and it's M O N. So, yeah. Poke. It's a game for boomers. <laughs> Gotta get you boomers out of the house somehow. No, Doc. I think I'm just not cool enough to have kept playing. I will, however... Well, there was supposed to be like an interactive AR Harry Potter game. I would have played. I don't know if it's still happening, though. I am waiting for the... Was it PlayStation 5 game? I don't have a PlayStation 5, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be out on the PlayStation 4 as well. Uh, Justin says, I walk fast enough that I would still get the speed alert. Yeah. If you're trying to, like, run and, like, get your Charizard or your Bubble Sword. Yeah. Are you planning to get the Venom? I am. I am. I'm going to put them right next to each other. And it's going to be a Symbio Fest. Simba? Simba Fest? No, that sounds like Lion King. I'm a passenger button was added. Oh, that's helpful. I'm sure everyone is still lying. <laughs> uh, Pokemon is a portmanteau of pocket monster. So I imagine the plural form would be Pokemons. <laughs> However, I'm bored toys is a specialist. So he probably know better. Hmm. All right. Yeah. What is the plural form of Pokemon? Because. So wait, is Pokemon just for pocket monster or pocket monsters? Because if it stands for pocket monsters, then it would already be plural. Like. If we refer to the Digimon opening, it says Digimon Digital Monsters. So we know then, by investigation, that Digimon is plural. Breaking things down that don't need to be broken down. Welcome back to useless knowledge. Ted Talk. Like Lego, it's just Pokemon. 
Thank you, Doc. All right. Thank you for educating us. I appreciate that. See, I'm not trying to be out here in them streets trying to catch Pokemons. Can't be telling people that. We got to say that we're catching Pokemon. All right. So we're building up this little jawline here. Has it been an hour and a half already? Oh, gosh. All right. We're almost done with this bag. And then I'll have time to go watch my show with Mr. Cafe. <laughs> you see, you're inciting it. I'm not inciting anything. I'm being mindful of enjoying multiple things. Multi yes, I'm a multi-passionate creative, guys. I realize this now. I have multiple passions. I am a renaissance woman, as some would say. This is what my time off has taught me. I've learned so much about myself. It's like I went on a yoga retreat, but I didn't. <laughs> Pink eyes. Good to see you. Yeah, long time no see. Also, your hair looks great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys have been so nice to me. It's a very nice welcome. I'm happy to be back. Ah, drop that in there. That's no, okay. Boom and boom. How are you? Pink eyes? How have you been? What have you been up to? All right, guys, can I tell you something crazy? I realized today that next year is my 10-year high school reunion. Not that I know that anything's been organized. But I don't think that I'm ready to flex on them peeps. You know what I mean? I'm not ready. I think we all imagined ourselves going back to our 10-year high school reunion and being like, look at my Lambo. <laughs> and, like rolling up, like basically Angelina and, and Brad, you know, here are my copious amounts of adopted children that I care for, but also have a full-time nanny for each. My Lamborghini. Here's my husband with eight Rolexes. And is also the star of his own movie. We're not there, fam. It's too soon. We haven't accomplished all of this yet. <laughs> About to pull up in the Technic Bugatti? Sure is. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> with, <laughs> with the power-up modem motor. So I can uh, just control it by my phone. Oh, gosh. You know, uh, oh, Shadow Fett, Shadow Fett, Shadow Fett, doing what you love. Good. Good to have you. Uh, yours is this year too, technically. You imagine being at a party in, in college? <sighs> college parties, I don't know. There's so much effort that goes into it. Just the partying itself. I've never hosted one. I can only imagine the cleanup. The effort to survive the day after. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good with with my my party days. I'm just trying to like secure the bag daily. Show up in all of my lego gear people ask oh cc what do you do now i'm like well i have a successful youtube channel sorta tons of lego if lego was gold it is in my mind 
parties give you anxiety. They give me anxiety as well. The the getting to the party gives me anxiety. Okay, bricks and mortar. Did you did you graduate in twenty twelve? Wait. Okay, wait. So you uh, 2011. If yours is this year, mine's is next year. In 2012. Justin did a year at community college and then semester at university and dropped out because no, Justin. I think you just had better plans to do other things. Nothing wrong with that. Hopefully you have less debt. See, okay, 2011. Alrighty. Are you guys doing anything, do you know? Are you rolling up with Mrs. Bricks and Mortar? Flexing? On your, your old colleagues? No, classmates, yeah, not colleagues. Uh, Sans, hello. Who needs a party if you can just never leave your home? That's the party right there. Introvert fam. <laughs> All I need is Wi-Fi. <laughs> and, and noise canceling headphones. No one bother me. <laughs> Freaking Nista, hello. Uh, oh, you got into Dungeons and Dragons and wanted more time to learn and play that? Still, nothing wrong with that. Um, Arcadum on Twitch. He's a professional DM. There you go. Something to do. Sans, how you been? Socializing is hard. Oh, gosh. I miss it, but then I don't miss it. I need, like, just enough social interaction, and then it can quickly become too much. I'm like, oh, okay, too much. All right, I'm leaving. Bye, guys. <laughs> it's been fun, sort of. Okay. What am I doing here? This. Uh, let's see, you're that one guy in school who's nice to everyone, even the bullies? Yeah, you should be. I think the next generation of, of kids are going to be just incredibly emotionally intelligent, super nice, really encouraging. TikTok shows me that there's hope for humanity in the way that Zoomers are. Although I say that, and honestly, I don't even know if I'm like a Zoomer. I may be. Or a Zillennial. Who knows? Not sure if you'll go, but definitely flex in with the missus. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Like, part of me feels like, what's the point of, of high school reunions? When everyone puts all of their stuff on Facebook anyway, it's like, okay, I know, I already know who has kids, who's married to who, what they're doing, where they're living. What's the purpose? Except for me, I haven't really posted anything. And so I'm about to come back and be like, wow, hello world. It is I. Yeah. And just be, like, all different. I'm not as buff as I used to be. And actually, like, two years ago, I was like, yes, I'm going to go back to high school and be super buff now. And then now I'm not as buff as I used to be. So I got one year to get buff again. <laughs> so I can literally flex on them. Social interaction is overrated. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok shows you the opposite, really? You got to be on, like, 
I don't know. I'm stumbled on like entrepreneur, small business TikTok, creative art TikTok. There's like different sections of TikTok. I think like just the dancing drama side gets most of like the press. But there's there's good sides. I need a protein shake. I do. I have not eaten enough protein today. And that is like being really honest. I like hired a coach and everything, guys. I'm super serious. BFAB better be glad that we're not still on our bet because even though I whooped his butt last time, I'm like even more serious now. I'm on a meal plan. Not sure if it's working, but we're on it. <laughs> uh, so am I building an early Lego set? No, I'm not. I'm building, where did the box go? I'm building the carnage set. It's out. I'm not quite special enough to get early sets yet. I need a protein shake. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. You're actually not on TikTok. Well, you've heard some weird, yes, weird things do happen on TikTok. I will agree. Like I said, I, entrepreneur, small business TikTok is sometimes great. And you learn about how to like file for small business loans and secure a mortgage practical adulting things but you also know about like the weird dark side of the internet where you can like sell things that you've worn and make money that way and it's like this is not the side hustle suggestions i was really looking for <laughs> but it, it makes money so i guess you know however you want to secure the bag Shadow Fett, are you Raptus? Or are you new to the channel? Speaking of TikTok, has anybody used video yet? Lego video? I haven't, so I, I really can't give my opinion, so that's why I'm asking. If maybe things improved since release. Mm hmm. It's supposed to go this way. This way. Okay. Has no one used it? I know. You guys are probably not the target audience for like a video anyway. I did get some of the figs. I just haven't op opened them. Please tell me why I hunt down figures and get them and then never open them. I think I enjoy the hunt of collecting way more <laughs> than, <laughs> than anything else, you know. Uh, not, you don't have any, of oh, the, the figs yet? Mm. Brickinista used it. It was meh. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. I know they were having some problems at the beginning, but I would have hoped that it would have improved. I don't think it has the allure that Mario has for fans to be like excited about it just for the IP, you know? But hopefully they can turn it around. 
The best part was the suggested names of the bands. You chose Mourn the Balloon. Oh my gosh, that's a great name. And emphasize the ketchup. Whoa. That's so good. Like now I really just want to play Guitar Hero or Rock Band again so I could name a band those names. Mourn the Balloon is such a good name. That is like, if I have a 12-year-old kid and he or she wants to start a band, I will suggest that name. And they will play at all of their little friends' parties and introduce themselves as Mourn the Balloon. So cool. Lego is not known for good apps. And they don't make them in-house, right? They they outsource. There's enough engineers and coders and stuff in the like AFOL community that Lego should really come consult us. <laughs> they need our help. Yeah, you can't feel for the figs. Mm. Yeah, I just got like a couple of random of the the blind boxes. And I don't think I got the $20 one. I think I, I still was like kind of making a stand. I might get one. I do want to get the mermaid. The ice cream mermaid or like dessert mermaid. So Lego won't do it <laughs> because it's a good idea. <laughs> it's just like... I don't know. I just feel like maybe we need to like corner them and have an intervention and sit them down and be like, Lego. We know we all love you. You know this, right? You can't keep making apps that don't work. Nobody wants them. We're here. We want to help you. You know, like it needs to be like that, like a TLC intervention and then maybe they will accept our help that you were going to name your kid mourn the balloon no i'm not zoomer enough for that but my kid can definitely have a band with that name you would think Lego would partner with Nintendo and have them develop the app. Yes. A, a literal game developer. <laughs> that would... It would probably work in their favor. Uh, not sure who develops the software. Let's say it's not Lego Strength. Hidden Side wasn't bad. I, I will... Yeah, the TLC intervention... Yeah, Hidden Side was actually really good. Like, I could sit down and play Hidden Side without any of the sets, any of the figs. It was just a good time. I can't say that for any of the other apps. And they have one in the app store, but, like, behind the, the paywall, you have to get... What's it? It's not called Apple Plus. Basically, you know, like their game service for Apple. Um, and Lego has a game there. And then there was it's not Brawl Stars. The the Lego fighting game that was developed by the Canadian company. That was pretty good. But obviously, right, like Lego didn't make it. It was it was licensed. But that was pretty good. Nice, but way overpriced. Yeah, the mermaid and the punk pirate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apple Arcade. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it. So we finished bag number one. And it took me 
almost two hours. Yes. But I mean, I did some shopping. Thanks to Jamie. <laughs> I reenacted a an intervention. We looked for a piece we didn't need, but ultimately we built a bag. I think we did all right. <laughs> Thank you guys for welcoming back to the community, back to streaming. I was actually really nervous to come back, but you guys made it worthwhile. I missed you and I missed our interactions. This is the kind of social interaction I enjoy. Welcome to my introvert life. <laughs> but no, I, I do love talking to you guys, hearing your opinions, seeing your comments, uh, what your thoughts are to something that I was thinking about the uh, like the channel post or the community post when I do polls. So I really appreciate you all. It has been a great evening. Thank you for rejuvenating and starting my weekend off right. I appreciate it. Enjoy the food truck. <laughs> yes, thank you. Have a good night. Yes, thank you, Doc, Joe, Jamie, Brightest Witch Ricks, uh, Brett, Sluter, Sands was here, uh, so many, so many good, oh, Brickinista, yes, welcome back, CZ, I'll see you in your next stream two months from now, <laughs> you got jokes, Justin, huh, no, 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 I'll be back sooner than that, don't you guys worry, and we'll play some games, I have a notebook full of ideas, so I just gotta do it, it's effort, right? Wait, what did you miss? Oh, Joshua, I'm in in the stream. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye.